Hello, welcome pen friends. I'm here to do a little video of the Lockbee Quattro and it is kind of a little bit of a redesign. Uh, Emily from Lockbee reached out to me about oh, last week and uh, mentioned that they had made a little redesign and would I like to uh, see one. And she sent me not one but two. So I've got the navy one and the brown one and they also have a black one. And interestingly, the uh, the last time I reviewed a black Quattro pen case and I did pass that on to a friend because it, I have a white cat so it definitely collected a lot of, uh, it showed the cat hair more and so everything else that I have in, in their, with their brand is the, the brown. So I have a, a pocket journal and a field journal in the brown but today we're going to take a real close look at these and see you know how it's changed and what the features are so we'll start with the navy one i think um, we'll look at both of them because the interiors have different colors so it's really really fun so this one is the navy one and it's got the pocket in the front and just like the other you know the earlier uh, 2020 edition it has uh let's see let's unzip it and then we can show the back it has a little velcro closure but you can do quite a bit you can do a lot with this um, what I liked was putting a little pocket notebook in here and I do open it first before I put the notebook because it would be maybe a little too tight otherwise but um, I don't know what I would put in the front but people put business cards so that's something to know that you can put your business cards I thought that was cool and then you're still going to have room for, like I was thinking about my little uh, ballpoint pen <laughs> because I use that to address envelopes. It's got a archival uh, ink in it and I, I do like that. This is a Ferris wheel press pen. But that's what one of the things you could do, but you could put whatever you want in this little pocket here and it has a nice secure closure. So that's pretty cool. And then it has the, it has the uh, YKK nylon zipper, real sturdy. And inside uh, has the tan inside. This is really pretty. And the other one, let's open the, the uh, brown one. This has that beautiful kind of honey colored interior, like a yellow, and I like that too. And this is really soft back here, by the way. Real soft. I think this is nylon, but I'm not sure what this is. It's very soft, the part your pen is going to go into. So let's put some pens in this because the last time, which is too bad I don't have the case, but <laughs> anyway, it's gone to a, a new home where maybe they don't have a white cat. So uh, the uh, black one. The way it was uh, in the other design was you had, uh, you could put two pens and then two pens going in the other way so like it, it, it was opposite like they they made this all the way up here and then your openings were you know about right there anyway <laughs> so it, it was interesting and I, I watched my review of that one because I thought I need a refresher I haven't had it in the house with me and didn't have it to pull out and look at uh, so I needed to look at my other review and I, I actually liked that because I was talking about how the the caps of the pens, we'll just go ahead and put some in there, uh, would not interfere with each other. So I'm interested to see how this will do. Um, let's see, we'll put, these are pens right out of my currently inked monthly pens here. And there's a Twisby Go. I notice, or at least it looks like this one's smaller, but let's see. We'll just try another Twisby Go in there. Okay, it fit, but you can see that that's quite a bit tighter. So that's a little bit different. But, um, yeah, so then we, okay, okay, I do like that. It, it does stagger the pens, so that's awesome. If you can see that, I'll try. Um, it, it does create a little bit of a, a stagger. That happens with the, um, with another pen case brand that I like where you, you stick them in and then you put the little koozie inside and it, it creates that, that kind of little sandwich where they're not really uh, interfering with each other. So that's fantastic. Okay. Oh, it's just a, it's a perfect size, you know, 
it holds four and you're good to go and it's not super big let's do some measurements on the one that isn't uh, <laughs> full here so this is measuring right about almost four inches i guess if you flattened it more it would be four about three and three quarters uh or if you like doing millimeters and i need let's see 95, 96, 97, almost, well, no, you could say that was 100 millimeters, 10 centimeters, good grief, what am I doing? Okay, and then with your other measurement, it would be about six and a half, close, you know, pretty close, uh, or let's stick with centimeters, 16 and a half centimeters, so that's pretty good, and um, okay, so this one's stuffed with the pens, And we got about about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. But you could still put more in this. Let's see, I didn't put my little notebook. This is a neat little notebook, by the way. This is a little pocketude notebook that is a gratitude notebook. And I really like these. They give you a chance to say what you're grateful for and kind of a little bit of it. Uh, it's a prompted journal, but anyway. Put that back there. Okay, and maybe we will go ahead, okay, and see it just curves the notebook, but it doesn't harm it any. I did this with the other one too. I like to have an, a little pocket notebook, and then we'll put that little ballpoint in there. I like that because whenever I'm writing letters, I want it close by. And actually I like a ballpoint because it, it has that permanent uh, ink in it and I don't have to fuss. It's just weird that way. Wow, I really like this. Um, I like the other design too, but one of the things that could happen is if if you opened it up, your pens that were going this other way could fall out. They could if they were slim enough. Most of my pens are pretty pretty hefty, although I did just, I was just looking at one that was thin, and I wanted to see how that went in there. Let's see. Pull it out of the other case I have it in. So I had my Hong Dian, and I thought about that. I thought about how thin that is. Whoops. Actually, great place for it would be over on this one here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> that's just another of my currently inked. I'm going to have to round them all up. I've got them in every room. Gosh, I like that. That's probably one of the best features is the fact that they aren't going to really bump anyway. Of course, none of my pens are going to really get harmed, I guess, but pretty neat. Okay, so what else can we say? Oh, well, the, the thing that I should have said right off the bat is this is waxed canvas. And I'll show you my older Lockby products in a minute. I think my, my brown uh, is lighter, and I, I don't know if they're making it darker now or if mine have lightened, but I also have some soap that I was going to, you know, do the little kind of cleaning of them, but they're not really dirty. They're just, I'm thinking I may be able to darken them a little. So I think that's pretty much it. They're $39 each. And like I said, three colors. And these are, wow. I like the way their things are made. And because I have my older stuff, I know that they hold up. So, and this, I think this, I think Emily said this was her favorite color. And she knew, and I, she asked what my favorite color was. And I said the brown. So um, let's put some in this brown one too and just get it loaded up here. We'll put a, oh, and I have a bigger pen. I, I don't have this one loaded up with ink, but I wanted to see how the Opus 88 Omar fit. Yeah, it fits in either one of those. Maybe I will put it in the middle though. <clears throat> okay, and then my Banu Talisman. What else do I have? Gee, I didn't get very creative on my ink ups this month. <laughs> okay, I got my little one, my little... I think I'll go ahead and put it all the way in. I hate to have the clips sticking out. I don't like that, really, if I can help it. And then I got another little one, a little Jen Hao 82. Whoops, I hope I'm in the frame. I'm really kind of like a wild scientist here. This is exciting. I haven't been ordering anything. I haven't been spending money because we have this gigantic bill to pay off this year. So getting pen mail at all was like, woo, that was exciting. Oh, I already got a pen in there. Yeah. Slow down, Chris. 
Okay, and let's see, I have, I even have another notebook. This one's slightly thicker, and this one is one of those um, flame tree notebooks that I get at a uh, half price bookstore. I just, this is so cute. But I'm never anywhere without pocket notebooks, so. Let's see, I may put it this way, just for the heck of it. So it fits right in there. Okay, that one is a little more, still does the trick though. Still does everything, keeps them staggered. This notebook's a little stiffer and a little thicker. Uh, the thinner one, like your Tamoy River ones, which I have one of those around here. Actually, it's in the other Lockby that I have there. I think your thinner notebook may do better, but we're still gonna zip up. We're still doing fine. Whoop, yep. It's just a little bit thick, that's all with that thicker notebook. And we've got that Opus 88 Omar right in there too. So this is just experiments. I like doing that. I like experimenting. Yeah, I don't want to do anything to it though. Okay, I think the combination, let me go ahead and get the thinner. Oh, I don't have it right here. I actually have a, um, what is this? Let's see, Fabiano in this one. Okay, but I know I have one right around here somewhere. Hold on. Okay, here's that little Tamoy River notebook. Gee, I don't remember. Hmm, I don't know where this came from, actually. Let's try that. Maybe it's a Goulet. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a lot thinner. So that's gonna, that's just gonna naturally do better. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So they can hold a lot. That one's, e oh, okay. So the Omar does really puff that one up. <laughs> it really fills it up. Nice. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Now I've got pens everywhere. I'm not sure what I'm doing. But thank you, thank you to Lockby for sending these. And they really are wonderful. Let's look at some of the older things that I have by them that are still in my, you know, that haven't been rehomed, that are still using and, and liking. And I'll be right back with those. Okay, so this is my, my first ever Lockby product. It's their field journal for the A5. And I really love it because it accommodates my Loistrom bullet journal, which is, I guess I had it out of the case for long enough to get it beaten up. But yeah, I really like this. It has the extra like traveler's notebook strings for adding the, the other uh, brochure, not brochure, booklet style. And then it has the nice pen loop on here. And I just you know, cram my bullet journal into here and all my little uh, stuff that I'm using at the time here right now. And then it latches like this. But yeah, this is lighter. Let me compare it to the brand new Quattro. I don't know whether that's uh, how this looked before. I can't remember. <laughs> and it's okay. doesn't matter to me. I'm pretty sure that when I get that soap out and finally get my act together and do the... Uh, uh, cleaning conditioning of it I think it's going to darken up which won't hurt my feelings I like it I like the dark looks really nice so the other item that I have that I've had for a long time is the pocket journal and I love this one too this is so nice as a place for your things and you could put two journals I've done that before and right now I had this out because I wanted to encourage myself to revisit this Fabriano paper, because I haven't, I haven't in a while, and it didn't used to be a paper I liked, but I still had this one notebook left with Fabriano, and I wanted to try it. So um, how my husband uses his, which I showed in the other video, he has the little check register up in the top, and our checks down in the bottom, and then he sticks a, a thin uh, calculator in there. And then he has a pencil and a pen and something else, some eraser thing or whatever. I have some, uh, yeah, I saved these because I like these for bookmarks. These are great bookmarks. And this evidently came off a pair. I remember these jeans. They're gone now because they were like size 16. And I don't wear that size anymore. But that is uh, where the, that came from. And I like to save, have bookmarks everywhere because I'm always needing one. Anyway, you can see the difference. It, it's a darker brown. I'm, I'm curious to know. Uh, but I, I do believe they may have lightened up just a little. I'm not sure. Okay, let me turn the camera around and we'll just chat for a minute. Maybe there's more to say about pen cases. <laughs> 
there now we can talk face to face so i really like this redesign um i like the original too i just the black was was just a magnet for the white cat hair that comes off of coco and actually looking at these it's so interesting because i really like the navy um I wasn't sure if I would or not, you know, like that wasn't a color that I might have chosen, but it's, it's really nice. It goes with everything. Um, I wanted to point out that I guess the way they've done this is in the sewing, but I'm not clever enough to have designed this. You know, you saw how it, how it comes together where, um, the pens don't, they, you know, they stagger. It's kind of like a, every other type whoops i'm really trying here but <laughs> anyway it just assists in them not bouncing together but i'm not clever enough to have designed this just to, to sew it but it, apparently let me see if i can get it close enough there's that extra little area there on both sides and somehow that makes it line up just right and no matter what you do that's how it lines up so your your caps are not um touching which kind of uh was the whole reason in the older video and i will link that i'll put it uh, at the end of the video there will be like three videos that i'll i'll put on the end well that's the reason i liked the other design was because i thought that the caps wouldn't interfere with each other but i really like this better i i, I do i truly do um they're not going to fall out and when you're working you're not uh, awkward about you know which direction the the pens are in and like i said for some reason this navy one really got to me <laughs> i really like that color um yeah so i've been a lockby fan for as long as i've owned their products i like the way they're made and they're really rugged and manuals that he uses every day is quite a bit more you know oils on it i probably need to clean his more than mine because my stuff stayed pretty i mean there's no stains or anything or you know and i like i said i've got that otter soap somewhere there that i was going to use yeah my field journal is is really if anything has been beaten up more let's see but i don't know that you can tell not really <laughs> maybe it's a little bit lighter that's all probably been you know out and about a lot more so so that was fun. <laughs> that was really fun to have something new to play with and try out. Um, I always like to include in all my videos other pen cases that, that have caught my eye or that I'm using that I love. So I still want to do that here. Um, one of the ones that I love the most that I hope won't go away, like I hope that, that there's my hope that Rickshaw will end up making these. It's the little Knock Tallulah. It's a... Uh, a little bit narrower than the Lockby, so but not by too much actually it's just a little narrow or maybe a half inch or so and then it opens up and they've got two uh pen slots and then an open-ended side on here and this is one that i use a lot right now i don't have it loaded up but it is one of my very favorites because it doesn't take up much real estate and you can cram in your non-fountain pen stuff on one side but i find myself using it less now that my bullet journaling and all of my uh, writing is with fountain pens except for the one you know i always have some kind of a ballpoint pen going in fact my my favorite one that i finally found the the little uh <laughs> inserts the cartridges for so that i could do my famous or infamous uh, tiles i finally found that pen so it seems like I couldn't make them without that. So that's one, the Knock Tallulah. And then, of course, the original Knock Sinclair is one of my favorites, which it, it has the uh, way to stuff the notebook in the middle or in this little pocket here. And then it has three uh, pen slots. But I can get like nine or ten pens in here. That's the original. That's my very first one, the blue one. It's stained on the back, but <laughs> I, I did that. And then, of course, they've redesigned it um and now rickshaw makes the rich uh, let me see if i sinclair r so it's got the koozie the softness in it and like i was talking about i can create or we can create that staggering effect for the pens this too has the three on one side and then the open-ended on the other for either notebook or more pens 
And then if you put a little two pen koozie inside, then you're going to get that same effect that, that Lockby gets with uh, doing their sewing just right in, in there so that it'll stagger your pen caps, which I love. Um, let's see, the other one was just right here in front of me that I love. And, you know, it's not maybe not meant to be used standalone, but it's a little koozie by Rickshaw. And that one holds three pens. And I just, I tend to use this as a, around the house, like wherever I'm going to move about and it'll fit three but <laughs> it's funny because I've almost I've also turned to using trays so that I have the uh, the Galen tray which is almost empty because I grabbed all my so this is another way that I right here on my pen desk I have all of the current monthly ones and this is where I write my pen pal letters right now Uh oh somebody came through and made a, a little bit of a bloop on it I'm glad it has a cover <laughs> Not on it right now, but I keep the cover on it at night because the cats, you know, they go everywhere. So, and then I've got the one that I made out of the top and bottom of a cigar box. So, but I, yeah, I always like to talk options because there's lots of options, but this is really nice. I like it a lot, and uh, I never would have gotten one if they hadn't sent it because I'm on such a, a crammed up budget this year. But um, definitely something. To keep my eye on and while I was on their website looking at it I noticed they had another thing they have a venture pouch now which looked really good and something else but that was the thing that I, I hadn't tried yet because I had tried their pen roll or I think it's called a pen roll I need to check that when I do my uh, description but the venture pouch is one that I haven't tried yet either um, so that can go on my wish list for when things relieve in the budget, in the pen allowance. Let's call it a pen allowance because that's what it is. Um, hopefully you got something out of this and at least you know now that they've redesigned the case and it is pretty cool. Um, still really nice and I think I would prefer the way they do it now to the other one even. Which I thought, I thought uh, when the this first came up and I got the email and she mentioned that they'd redesigned it I thought oh but I thought the whole thing was having it go opposite like that was going to keep your pens your caps uh, safer but yeah I missed the whole point about <laughs> about how it uh, how they go in there to begin with so really cool redesign and I will see you guys on the next video and I'll see you in the comment section. I'm a little bit behind, quite a bit behind on answering comments, but I'm looking forward to doing that. Things are, are settled down right now and so it's a good time for me to start catching up on that. I'll see you on the next video and uh, let me know what you think. Bye for now.